Okay, hi guys, Mr. Who's the Boss here, and this is a highly requested video actually. I've had three or four people at least telling me that they want me to compare the Nvidia Shield Portable to the Nvidia Shield Tablet in terms of gaming performance. So we both know that these are two of the most powerful devices on the market, but strangely enough, they're a generation apart. So the Nvidia Shield Portable is running a Tegra 4 chip, and the Nvidia Shield Tablet is running a Tegra K1 chip, but apart from that, the specs are pretty much identical. So in the clip you actually see here, uh, the Nvidia Shield Portable is actually playing Real Racing 3, which is, as you already know, one of the most demanding games available today on Android. And so it's actually running it quite well. I mean, the frame rate is hovering around 40, not going too much higher, not going too much lower. Now here is the same game on the Nvidia Shield tablet, and I have to say it's running a hell of a lot better. Not only is the frame rate solid at 60, you know, it's literally rock solid, uh, it also actually looks better, because not only is this a larger display, but it's also a higher resolution display, so you actually see more of what's going on. And I mean, what tends to happen with mobile games is that they actually look quite bad when they're scaled up to larger displays, because you start to see all the imperfections, but with Real Racing 3, there really is a lot of attention to detail, and that shines in this scenario. So here is the opening cinematic of Iron Man 3, and this is again the Nvidia Shield Portable. And as you can see, I'm, I was actually quite surprised with how much this actually stutters. So this is actually rendered in real time by the hardware, and the Nvidia Shield Portable is actually struggling, which is quite surprising considering it is still incredibly powerful by today's standards. I'd say the average frame rate is between 20 and 25, which is verging on the wrong side of unplayable. On the other hand though, the speakers are very very nice and the screen is still crisp, but I really wasn't happy about the frame rate. Moving over to the Shield tablet though, we have literally zero problems. Yet again, the Shield tablet is powering through. The speakers are even better than those on the original Shield and, to be honest, the whole experience is much more immersive because of the larger display and higher resolution. Now I've got a feeling what's going on here, especially with the Shield Portable, is a slight lack of optimization. And this is understandably so, because most standard system on a chips, especially on the Android platform, are kind of lacking in the GPU department. You know, for example, the Snapdragon 800, Snapdragon 810, they really don't have that powerful GPU. So when a 192 core or even a 72 core GPU comes along, manufacturers really don't know what to do with it. And I'm guessing that they just haven't really used all that power that's available. That's especially evident in a game like this, Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed, which is running perfectly on my PlayStation Vita, yet struggles on the Shield Portable, uh, you know, a platform which is at least three or four times as powerful. The frame rate is capped at 30, but even then is not solid. Moving over to the Shield tablet though, the experience is better, but still not perfect. You can see the colours are definitely more popping, but at the same time the frame rate is still capped. However, on the Shield tablet it runs at a smooth 30, whereas Shield Portable it's sort of waving around 25 to 30, with occasional drops to about 10 for some reason. But again, this is not actually a very graphically intensive game. You can see that this is actually toned down when compared to the Vita version, and for some reason it runs worse. So anyway guys, that's my quick comparison. As you can tell, the Nvidia Shield tablet is an absolute monster. There's nothing quite like it on the market. However, you must take into account that a lot of Android titles don't use all the power that's available, because if they did, this thing would be soaring. It's also worth noting that the Nvidia Shield Portable is no slouch at all, so if you're actually looking for a gaming device, I wouldn't look straight past it. Although the Nvidia Shield Tablet is clearly better in a lot of different ways, it's still a great device, so I would actually seriously consider the Shield Portable, especially because it's $199.